Hi, this is Dr. Dare. Today I'd like to talk with you about temporomandibular joint disorders or TMD temporomandibular disorder. So your temporomandibular joint is made up of two bones, your temporal bone here and your mandible. And where they come together, you have this joint. A joint is anywhere where two bones come together. Now, most people don't know this, but you have a little disc that's between those joints there. And that acts like a little shock absorber and it helps to take stress off of this area. But what can happen over time is if somebody has an uneven jaw, uh, an uneven bite, or an uneven balance there in the, in the temporal mandibular joint, this disc can actually wear down. Just like your disc in your low back or your neck can wear down, and that can create a lot of pain and problems for you. Some of the most common symptoms with TMJ problems are headaches, uh, pain in the jaw, neck pain, um, upper back pain even, it can refer to a lot of different areas, so it's important that you get this checked. One thing you can do to check to see if you have a TMJ problem is just look in the mirror and just slowly open your mouth like this. And then close it. It should go straight down and straight up. What happens if you have a problem, and some people, it's really obvious, your jaw will deviate quite a bit. My, my jaw deviated a little bit. I have some issues here with TMJ. A lot of times people grind their teeth at night. This is a common disorder that uh, you want to have special, you have a specialist take a look at this. So when somebody comes in my office, there's a simple test that we can do to see if this is a chiropractic problem or a dental problem. If it's a dental problem, you need to get checked out by your dentist. And we like to work with dentists. Um, you need the two to work together to take care of these issues here. So um, sometimes you may need a special uh, night guard or a splint and have them take a look at that and see if there's anything functionally that they can correct on there and that's out of our scope of practice. But within our scope of practice, there's a lot of things that you can do, especially working on the muscles in this area. What can you do on your own? Well, there's a lot of muscles here that attach onto the TMJ. Here are the muscles of just mastication in itself, just chewing. Think about it, you're all, the, all day long you're talking and chewing food, and these muscles can get scar tissue and adhesions in them. And so look at all the muscles that attach onto this TMJ. And by the way, the TMJ has more proprioceptors in that joint than any other joint in the body. So it's highly, highly sensitive. So before I told you what can you do on your own to help with the TMJ problem or a back or neck problem, I've often told use a tennis ball. In this case, I would not use the tennis ball for TMJ. It's just too big, it's too general, it's not specific enough. And it's right here, it's easy to grab. So I just use, I didn't just use my hand. So you can just go like this and you can feel how tight these muscles are. And a lot of times people, they'll just like to just rub it like this in a circle. Don't do it that way. When you get to these muscles here, do a cross fr friction massage. I find that more effective. Where I'm going side to side like this. And just feel the areas that are tight. And you'll feel where they're tight. And you can just kind of work on those. And that often can bring relief to this jaw. Um, the other thing that you can do is work the SCM, this muscle right here. Just turn your head like this, and I just pinch this area. This is good for help out with TMJ. And then another area is right underneath the clavicle called the subclavius muscle. This is often tied in with TMJ problems and right in through here. And so, and lastly, one thing else that you can do, a muscle that's neglected, is the temporal muscle, which is right in through here and you just go like this. Now this one, I wouldn't go side to side. I would just move it in a circular motion. Just like, this is really good if people have headaches and all, it just helps to re reduce tension. And you don't have to put a lot of pressure on this to bring relief to this area. Now what do we do as chiropractors? We have great success with TMJ problems. We can adjust this TMJ. We can adjust the neck. We can adjust the shoulder, upper back. Um, we oftentimes do cranial. A lot of times, People have cranial misalignments that are causing their TMJ problems. See, your, 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 the bones in the skull are like the door frame and the TMJ is just like the hinges. If you don't have a proper set door frame, you're gonna have issues with your TMJ. So a lot of times, it's just a matter of correcting the cranial misalignments that can greatly help a TMJ problem. And laser works phenomenal. The energy pressure wave technology works phenomenal. Uh, we have incredible success using TMJ, so if you have been stuck, you have a TMJ issue, and uh, you haven't been able to resolve it yourself, I highly recommend you see a chiropractor that specializes in TMJ problems because it can make a world of a difference.
So I hope this video has been helpful. And um, uh, at the end of this video, you're going to see somebody that had success who was, he was hitting the jaw. He was suffering with pain for so long. We worked on these imbalances. I think he had a lot of cranial misalignments in through here. And um, we cleared a lot of things and his pain went away. And this can happen for a lot of people if you remove the imbalances. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Dr. Derek signing off.